What's up guys, it's Mr. Light. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel today. So today we are going to be doing a deck profile for Gold Paladin Liberators. Hope you guys enjoy! Alright guys, so, Gold Paladin Liberators. They just got a new update with, with the new set, set 12, black, black rings of something. <laughs> Fighting Forces of Black Rings. I'm like, wait, what is it called? So, the, the deck basically stays the same, basically, from what it was um, with that 9, which trying to try and return to King of Knights. But it adds a little bit more flair with the fact that you add in Garmore. So, here's how we go for it. As you see below me in my camera, that's the deck, same deck profile actually. Um, Starting is always going to be Wingo Liberator at, at the point right now because this deck is very blaster blade heavy. That you always just want you want Wingo Liberator as your starter. Now grade one, you run I run three Barco Liberators. When it boosts Blaster Blade Liberator, you get you get a surge of top three cards and call a card at rest. Next card in my grade ones, I run uh, Fast Chase Liberator Joseph. When Superior called, uh, he gets. You can Soul Blast 1 to draw a card, and this is really good for a deck that doesn't really have much draw power in general. And on 4, Halo Shield Liberator Marks, perfect card, and then 3, May Rain Liberator Bruno. And every time a card is called from a deck with discard in the field, it gets plus 3 death, so it stacks. Grade 2s, we run 4 Blast of Liberators. Counter Blast 2, retire any card if your Vanguard is a Liberator. Run 4 Scrads. Counter Blast 1. When an attack hits, look at the top card of your deck, call it. And for Liberator Royalty Fallon, Liberator Royalty Fallon, yeah. And it's just a 12k. Every time, if you have Liberator Vanguard, it gets plus 3k. And then we run one trip, Major Calamity Trip. You get that extra counter charge from either using the Blaster Blade skill or a Scrad skill. Now, Great threes, we run four Wolf Fang Liberate Garden Wars. This is the sorry, let me take a step back. This is a nine four deck. So a nine stand four draw deck. Uh, four heal deck. Uh since you're calling a lot of cards, um boom, it's gonna be you might get hit or miss on what cards you get. Um you might not get grade twos, you might get grade threes, grade ones, whatever, but this also gets extra attacks in. Great way to like thin your opponent deck out. And then like when you're pulling resources out, especially going into the uh, Avengers because they need resources. So you start, you focus on retiring with Blaster Blade in the back row, and attacking, and then restanding and attacking, so you Vanguard again. Oh yeah, we won four Wolf Fang Liberator Gardmore. So when placed, all your, um, when, when, okay, so here's what, here's the thing that's confusing for most people, is that they think it's when people, when cards are called. No, but when Garmore is placed, all your Liberators get resist and cannot be retired for that turn. Now, let me break wise. Time Blast 2, call a top card of your deck to open regard and repeat this until you have no open regards. Now, this is confusing. When this pl when placed, it gets the following ability until the next turn. Your Liberator regards cannot be retired or lose intercept by your opponent's card effects. Now, here's the thing it can still be retired. It's only when Garmore is placed. Garmore. Garmore itself, not when. They're called from, from his limb break because that's why I think people have realized had thought is that they when they call for a limb break he gets that they those cards get that ability. But the like, the next skill is that when it attacks put a rear guard liberate rear guard to the bottom of the deck to get five thousand usually triggers when I use the armor skill and I have triggers on the field I usually put one to the bottom of the deck to get rid of it. We run four solid liberate against slots when rode upon get your vanguard plus thousand ten thousand and in three your rear guard plus five thousand and look for a blaster blade liberator if your vanguard is a liberator which you're gonna have to ride liberators <laughs> um i usually depending what situation i'm in if i'm already at four i go into guard more if i'm not at four i usually go to against slot it really depends if i already have blaster blade in my hand or not kind of care and miss because sometimes especially in this current rank season it's Radicators and Revengers, so it's a lot of retiring, but it's usually good to just go into guard more first. Uh, and heals, I run four. King of Night, Liberator Roundtable, Alfred. I don't know why I said 
Yeah, nice, because it's its original name. Uh, it's plus one for every Liberator Rear Guard, and then it gets Counter Blast 2 to look for a card. Oh. And then, one Steel Spear Liberator Leo Barris. I don't think I said that right, but I'll go with that. When Red Upon, Counter Blast hit 10,000. Counter Blast 1 to get 10,000 power, and call a top to card to your deck, and then, you know, plus 3,000 when it attacks. But overall, that's my Liberator pro deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed this and any critiques, any comments, anything you think should be added, should be taken out. Just put them down in the description below, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you guys, I'll see you guys next one.